Hey, Melissa. Do you have your balloons? Yeah. <laughs> what? We will need it. There you go. <laughs> about 20 minutes ago, Nora drew all over her face with a pen, so that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Scrub. I mean, it's pink. It's still there a little bit, but it's okay. Put that to your baby sister and a little, a little stuff on it. Yeah, with extra pen. Huh? I got some done. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna draw today? Yeah, do you know what you're gonna draw? Yes. Yes, I'm gonna draw a rainbow. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Then I have a special way of doing it. I just touch the top that's up and then I write on this side that's up. The side that's on the bottom doesn't look bad. Oh. Wait till I tell you. How many times have you done this experiment now, girls? Three now. Three? You're going to be pros. No, they're going to be like, yep, it happened. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Well, we didn't do it yesterday, so hopefully that helps. Yeah. Good. Good, good. Let's see here. Yeah. Which is horrible. Don't put your mouth on that. Don't. Don't. <laughs> so what is what does Dad say about about all this stuff? What's the? What's Daddy think? He doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> he cares about himself. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's out on a run right now. Yeah, it's probably best for everyone. Because yeah. I said to him, actually, I told him, I was like, I kind of don't want you here. Like on Wednesday when we did it, he was working in the basement um, uh -huh. where, where we set up a makeshift office that the two of yeah. us share. Yeah. Um, we have baby checks. And I do it sometimes. Yes, we do. And... Um, Today, he's like, I'm going to take the day off. And I was like, wow, uh, <laughs> you need to have something to do, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you should do, we sh there should be a, a partner event for this or, or the husbands can you just go and like chill out somewhere or watch a football game, I don't know. Yeah, so he's like, oh, I'll go for a run. And I said, okay. And I said, whatever you do, don't mow the grass while I have <laughs> Don't mow the grass or suck up Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the restrictions are this. Don't put your mouth on it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Do you have plans for your weekend? Anything exciting happening? We don't have anything going on. Um, we might go, there's, it's, it's interesting. So we live in the Kutztown area, uh -huh. um, just north of us is Kempton, and there's a farmer. I went to school, I went to school with the uh, guy, and he and his wife have like 1,700 chickens, and so they do like a little farm side stand and sell the eggs and everything there. So they teamed up with another farmer who now doesn't have a supply chain anymore for their eggs and so they have like 80,000 chickens that they were told to euthanize oh. and so they took over kind of this egg supply and are doing these egg drops where it's up at the nearby community center and you can line up in your car and you put your money in the back and they just put flats of eggs in your car for whatever you paid for. Oh, that's so they don't, the farmer doesn't have to kill off his animals and yet oh. they still keep selling the eggs. Yeah, that's good to know. That's a, yeah. Eggs can be kind of hard to, to find sometimes. So that's, that's yeah, we don't have, 
Our friends aren't here. Oh. <laughs> you got to move it. <laughs> yeah, so we might, do, we haven't done any of the egg drops as they're calling them yet, but we might do that one. Yeah, that's fun. I want all the supplies over there. Now, girls, are any of you in school? Yes. Do you have classes? What's that? Do they have classes? Are they in yeah, school? Avery has had virtual kindergarten now for what, two months? Ooh. Forever. Yeah. Forever. And I feel so lazy on myself. <laughs> lazy. Because all I do is just do my work and then go play. <laughs> Amazing. Work and play, work and play, yeah. That's, that's a lot of play. it. That's all it is. We, uh, we actually went to Avery's school yesterday. Which was not fun. We had to drop off her last library books. Yeah. And then we had to pick up her art portfolio. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There we go. Hello. Hi. Excellent. Hi. All right, while people are still coming in, uh, I just have a couple of quick announcements uh, and then we'll get started, okay? So first of all, hello everyone. My name is Matt Kalaski. I am the manager of public programs here at the Michener. I'm really excited that you're all joining us for this very special Foodie Friday. Like I said, I have a couple of quick announcements and then we'll get right to Creative Kids Kitchen Laboratory. <laughs> First of all, uh, as we all get used to attending virtual events, uh, the Michener wants to make sure we are providing you with the best possible experience online. If you have a moment after the event today, we ask you to consider completing a quick virtual program survey, which I'm going to put in the chat box right now. There we go. Uh, next, we know now more than ever the museum is the museum and the arts are your window into the wider world. And all of us at the mission are thrilled to have your support joining us today. If you like what you see and you're able to do so, I encourage you to make a donation to our annual fund. Every contribution makes a huge difference in our ability to present programming as we stay socially distant together. You can do that through this link, which I'm going to post right now. Next, I want you to know that while the Michener is temporarily closed, you can still experience much of the museum from home. We've collected all of our great online resources for adults, kids, and students, and teachers in one place. And I'm going to share that link with you right now. I want to specifically point you to our Michener Made Mondays, which feature short art tutorials from Andrea Thompson, our arts education manager. These are great little projects that you can do anytime you want. They're posted to our social media every Monday, but you can find all of our archived lessons on our YouTube channel, which I'm gonna post right now. Uh, lastly, uh, I want you to know that you can find connections with today's program with our museum, specifically on our learn with the Michener website. We've created a specific post just for this program today that will connect these activities with uh, works in our museum. So I'm going to post that link right now too. And now finally I wanted to go over uh, a few of the features of our Zoom meeting today. Uh, as you probably see there's a chat button down at the bottom here. If you click on that, you'll open up a chat window on the side. Uh, you can use that to chat with all the other participants uh, and our presenters today. Uh, for most of the program, I'm gonna keep us all muted just so we can cut down on our background noise. Uh, but if you have a question or if you want to share something, feel free to unmute yourself uh, or you can ch uh, chime up in the chat and I we can answer your question that way. Uh, if you want to share the works that you make today with the Michener, you can do that on social media with the at Michener art tag. And then lastly, uh, we will be recording the, today's uh, event for uh, future use on our YouTube page. If you'd rather not uh, have be, appear in this recording, feel free to video mute yourself uh, at this time. Okay, great. Now, finally, I would like to introduce our host and hosts for today. Specifically, I wanna introduce Melissa Langston, who is a associate professor of chemistry at Dell Mal University. She has her PhD in chemistry from Lehigh University. Dr. Langston works to make chemistry tangible to her students by showing them how chemistry affects their everyday lives. Now, please, Join me in welcoming Melissa and her Creative Kitchen crew. <laughs> I'm going to unmute you, Melissa. There you go. Okay. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you're excited and ready to do some fun kitchen chemistry and some fun kitchen art projects as well. So before I get started here, I want to introduce you to my helpers for today. They are Avery. 
Parker, and Nora, okay? And so they are gonna help us do the projects today. As we do the projects, you can watch them too, because they've had a little bit of practice now, so they can give you, maybe give you some pointers along the way here. Um, and so the first thing that we're gonna do, boys and girls, can you sit down? First thing that we're going to do, boys and girls, is we're going to talk about what I get to do at work. So not only am I a mom, but I also am a scientist as well. So as a scientist, one of the things that I do is I make observations. Can you say observations? Observations. That sounds pretty good. Good job, boys and girls. So what is an observation? It's something that you can see. It's smell. something that you can hear. Oh, it could be something you can smell. Something you can taste. No, we're not gonna taste today. But it can also be something you touch, okay? And so touch. we're gonna try and maybe touch, see, hear, and smell today, okay? And so, for ice cream? Yeah. It is good to taste ice cream. Yeah, that's a different observation. So, boys and girls, what we're going to do now is we're going to try and use those observations. And to use those observations we can make, we are going to look for different types of matter. So, what's matter? Matter, boys and girls, is anything that has a mass or a weight. So, think about when you go to the doctor. What does the doctor have you do? The doctor has you step on the scale and checks your weight. That means you have a weight. Matter also is something that occupies space. Check your heart. And they check your heart, yeah. But we're not talking about that. That's right. So boys and girls, matter is also something that occupies space. And we all occupy a little bit of space. And so boys and girls, that means that we are all made up of matter. And I think your, your family will tell you that you matter too. So there's three types of matter that we're going to talk about. The first is a solid. Can you say solid? Solid. That was pretty loud and proud. Good job. Now, if you have your baking soda handy, boys and girls, let's Shut take up. a look at it. Okay, let's take a look at that baking soda. We're going to make some observations. What does a baking soda look like? It looks white and whole. Yeah, it looks white. So we can see the color. Wow. But you can even touch it, boys and girls. Maybe you can give it a little poke with your finger. What does it feel like? Don't give it a big poke. What does it feel like? Does it feel smooth? Yeah. Smooth. Maybe a little. Does it feel a little bit like sand? <laughs> yeah. It feels a little bit like sand. And so can you, when it's between your fingers, can you smush it? Yeah, I'm not sure. really though, I'm right? Sure. You can't make those little bitty powder pieces any smaller than they already are. Yeah, I'm just rubbing it. I don't recommend you doing that, no. And so, boys and girls, when we look at the little bitty pieces that make up a solid, we see that they're really close together. In fact, boys and girls, the particles, as we like to call them in science, that make up that solid can only wiggle in place. That's the only way that they can move. Can you wiggle like a solid? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Let me see you wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, good wiggling. Are you wiggling? Okay. And so, those are solid types of matter. We're going to talk about another type of matter, and that's a liquid. Maybe you have your vinegar nearby. Yeah? And so, if we look at the vinegar, does it have a color to it? No, I mean it kind of does. But Not no. really. Maybe it's co I'd say it's colorless. No. No. Or boys and girls, maybe you have apple cider vinegar. It might be a little yellowy brownish in color. You notice that you can pour vinegar, right? And you yeah. can see through it. It's clear. Did you smell that vinegar? Let's smell it. Let's smell it. Let's make some smell observations it. there. No, it does not smell good. Does it smell good or bad? Stinky. Oh, that's not the greatest smell, right? I so that's one more way that we can make an observation. Now, a vinegar is our liquid. Can you say liquid? Liquid. Liquid. All right. Liquid, liquid particles are allowed to roll over each other, and so they move a little bit differently. That's why we have to 
pour a liquid. Can you roll, boys and girls? Well, like a liquid? Can. can you roll? Let me see your roll. How fast can you roll? Fast as you can. Woo! All right. That was really fast. Looks like we should sign up for some kickboxing classes. <laughs> All right, boys and girls. The last type of matter we're going to talk about today is called a gas. Can you say gas? Gas. Gas. It's hail. Now, a gas is something that we can't always see, we can't always smell. But it's real. But it's oh, really important because we use gases like air to keep our bodies healthy. So we breathe in. Can you take a deep breath in? And let that air out. Yeah, you're letting a gas out of your body. Ew, and what it's we're, basically gas. What we're going to do today is we're going to use our baking soda and we're going to use our vinegar. And when we put these two things together, we're going to make a gas. Now, a yes. gas is allowed to fill up the space that it's in. It's allowed to move however it wants. In fact, we say that gases move what they call it, translational, it's a funny word, motion. That means that they can go front and back, and they move only in a straight line, and so they kind of bounce off of things, and they can move side to side and bounce and bounce. Can you guys bounce and bounce like a gas particle? Yeah, kind of bouncing. Bouncing up and down. Okay, so boys and girls, we have to find a way that we're going to capture our gas. And so all of you should have a balloon. You have a balloon? I have a balloon. Do you have a balloon? Yeah, so we have our balloon. And we're going to try and capture the gas that we're going to create today from our solid and liquid and get it in that balloon. And so what you can do, boys and girls, is you could draw on your balloon before we capture that gas. So if you take your balloon and you put it down on your table, Put it so that the end that you would normally put in your mouth is pointed at your belly. And now, boys and girls, take a minute and draw anything you want on that balloon. You could draw a funny face. Read your name. You could draw, write your name, sure. You could maybe okay. even draw your cat, maybe even your dog if you have one. Maybe okay. whatever. You can draw whatever. And so adults, while the kids are busy working here, we have a little work to do. Okay, and so what we're going to set up now is essentially the rest of the experiments, adults. So I have my bottle of vinegar here and I have my water bottle. I'm going to pour about a cup of vinegar into each one of my water bottles and I'm working times three here, so you might be a little bit faster than me. Or maybe I'll times four. And so if you're measuring it out with the one cup measuring, Stick cup that works out really well. I'm just going to try and eyeball it um, kind of in a regular water bottle. You're just shy of halfway to set it up. You can do two sides. Yeah. yeah, on your balloon, if you get one side done, boys and girls, you can do the second I'm side if you like. I'm putting my name on it. You wrote your name? That's awesome. Okay. All right, how are our balloons looking? Wow, are you all done, Nora? Great job. So Nora's done with her balloon at home. If um, you have a kiddo that's done drawing as well, what we're gonna do is, ah, mama. <laughs> we are going to take the balloon, I'm gonna put it at the end of a funnel and then I have just a regular kitchen spoon. I'm going to put about two, maybe three scoops if I'm feeling adventurous today, into the funnel to get that into the balloon. I know you do, but I want you to watch, right? So, and if you see that it looks like your baking soda is getting a little stuck in your funnel, tugging on that balloon helps to get the rest of that baking soda in there, adults. And then after you get your baking soda in the balloon, you're going to carefully, without spilling any of that baking soda into the, the water bottle, 
fit the mouth, of the, the end of that balloon over the mouth of your water bottle. But do not tip it over. But then don't tip anything yet. Just kind of let it hang there on the side. How are we doing, girls? Good. Mine's done. You're done? Wow. Oh, that's a cool design. Avery, you get both sides. Uh -huh. Well, that outside has a, a, a you know, name, and the other oh, side has okay. my rainbow. I have this one. You're going to clean the table later? I'm going to hold you to it then, Nora. Okay. All right, I got one more balloon to do there at home. And then we'll move on to the next one. We'll make this exciting and we'll all do the next step together. At the same time. So follow along with us. I draw my chicken on mine. You drew a chicken on yours? Yeah, my name's Felicity. You do have a chicken on yours. See? Harper, do you want to tell us what you drew? Yeah. I want my name down and rainbow and like some crazy stuff. Cool. Very cool. So, all right. Everybody ready at home there? Or do you need Everybody a minute? On the balloon. How are we doing? Well, give me a, if you're ready, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs all up right. Ready. Okay, boys and girls. So, we're going to count to three. And on three, we're going to take our balloon and have it stand up. That's all you have to do. Stand up Please your balloon. Hold it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, yeah. You might have to give it a little shake. What is happening to those balloons? They were exploding! <laughs> the mine actually exploded. Harper, you gotta give yours a little shaky. <laughs> I don't think I need a little shaky. I need a big shaky. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, or maybe they could try using different tools to make their art, right? A painter doesn't always have to use a paintbrush. Maybe yeah. they could use something different. Could they use their fingers? Yeah, it might yeah. be a little messy. That could be a little messy, but they could try it, right, boys and girls? Now, something else that we can do is we can also check out the um, missioner's education site. Learn with the missioner is a great way to look at other ways that artists can try to do some different experiments with their own artwork. All right, so let's try now to check out other things that we can do. So now, boys and girls, if you look at the supplies you have for our next project, you should have some paper. Do you have paper, boys and girls? Here, take your paper, Nora. Nora found an ant walking across our kitchen floor. He's got to go later. He's going to wet it. Okay. So we have paper. Artists can use paper, or they can use other materials. They can use a canvas, right? If they're going to do painting. We have paint. We also have paint, boys and girls. Do you have your paint? Walk on three walking around. Okay, so we have our paint, boys and girls. But do and we now, have paintbrushes? To do our painting, do you have a paintbrush? Mommy, do you forget the paintbrushes? Did I forget the paintbrushes? I may have forgotten the paintbrushes. Oh no, what but that's do? okay because guess what, boys and girls? We're not using paintbrushes today. We're gonna use bubble wands. Do you have a bubble wand? Woo! Yeah, so we're going to use these bubble wands. And we're not going to use them like a paintbrush. We are going to blow our paint onto your mom and dad's kitchen walls, right? No! Not onto the wall, not onto the ceiling. Go ahead, Harper. Hi, Mommy. 
Nothing happens. Wow, she's got a bubble on there. Now, what happens when your bubble gets on your paper, boys and girls? You could let it sit there and pop on its own, right? This is where we get to experiment. You can try to, oh, are you gonna let it there? Are you gonna pop it with your finger? You could pop it. Wow! Mm. Mommy, mommy. Cool, Harper. I like how that looks. And you can try more than one color if you want. Red. Yeah, just make sure, boys and girls, we don't get our mouths on those bubble wands. Yeah. That won't taste very good. We don't need to make that observation today. No way. That is yippee doo doo. Wow, Harper, you have an awesome job. solution the same way we did and then put a straw into your solution and blow some bubbles in there get the bubbles coming up out of your cup or maybe muffin pan and then you can actually put the paper on top and you can actually make a print of those bubbles so it's yet another way that we can try to make our artwork just like that artist So if you do want to share this with friends or with family, um, please feel free to do that. And if you want to go back and revisit some of the things we did today, that's another great chance to do that. You know, some of those rainy days in the summer, it might be nice to go back and uh, have a different project today or, or go back and visit these projects. Um, and then, of course, if you want to find the step-by-step -step instructions as well as all of that supply list again, you'll be able to find that on the education site Learn with the Missioner. Good job, girlfriend. Anybody at home want to hold up their paper? Wow. I would love to see it. Fantastic. Avery's getting close. She really wants to get a good, uh, good look. Awesome. Good job. Very nice, boys and girls. You're going to hold yours up, Parker? Cool. 
You were using, Trevor was using the drips and she was kind of smearing them with her bubble wand into no, some of her bubbles. That's cool. Good job. Well, thank you boys and girls for joining us today. I hope you had a lot of fun. I think we had fun in our kitchen. One. Yeah, you can do this all afternoon. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I would say you can do this all day if you started this in your morning. And because it's such a beautiful day and we are blowing bubbles here, you could even take it outside. And if you then to. stop blowing it all around. You can do it on your swing set. You can blow it all around. All right. Well, thank you everyone again for joining us. I hope you had a lot of fun. And I especially want to thank everyone at the Mishner Art Museum for allowing us to do this fun event with all of you today. So take care, stay well, and thank you. Bye. Thank you, Melissa. See you later, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.